And we are expecting drogue deployment at 2.53 p.m. Pacific, so we should see it any second now. And there you are getting a great view of Crew-9 inside Dragon Freedom. As it returns back to Earth, we are awaiting the drogue deploys. This view coming from the WB-57 high-altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue descent rate normal. You can hear the crowd here. Visual on two healthy drogues. As we mentioned, Freedom will be traveling 16 miles per hour when it splashes down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, here at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. And there we go. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. Freedom copy. Oh. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes. And as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully, that Copy, was 600. As you can see there on your screen, continuing to monitor progress of the Dragon spacecraft. And we're going to stand by for splashdown located in the Gulf of America, um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. And SpaceX Freedom, splashdown. Good main release. Obviously, a couple of them are going to be working to retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background there of this drone shot. Those parachutes will be retrieved from the ocean surface. We want to make sure we uh, we are able to pull those out. The recovery vessel there closest to the spacecraft is going to be performing some safety checks. We can see there they're using an instrument that is basically working to detect Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. Bracing. There it goes, Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. That's right, and we did hear the go for that hatch opening, so we're just a couple minutes away from being able to see that, uh, and then we might be able to open that side hatch up. And there you have it. The side hatch is open for the first time since September. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew-9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy... Next step out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, his first space flight, spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. 
Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Once again, big smile. <laughs> For those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore.